A Cards with Michael production. Fast breaks. What's up, everyone? Cards with Michael here. Another Zendikar collector box. This one is sponsored by Sean. Thank you so much, Sean. A quick plug today, in a few hours actually, we'll be live streaming both here on YouTube and on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash subtle panda. We'll be opening like a million of these Zendikar collectors live. Uh, there probably are going to be a few more packs and boxes left for sponsoring. Depends on uh, what the situation changes in the next about uh, 24 hours. I record these obviously a little bit earlier. But until then, until then, let's enjoy this box opening. And if you're watching after that live stream happens, you probably will be able to see a lot of recordings of the live stream. My point is to make a lot of this accessible, guys. Like You, you can really see you'll have so much data points before you uh, have to commit to buying one of these collector boxes. So... I'm big on that information transparency type of deal. So let's let's get to it. All right. As any other uh, Zendikar collector box, we are implicitly always participating in something known as the Seven Expedition Challenge. What is that? Well, there are two non-foil expeditions we're getting for sure. And in these packs, on average, one in six of these should have foil expeditions. All right. So what is the Seven Expedition Challenge? That's getting five foil ones and... Um, and uh, two of the non-foils that are guaranteed, and that that would be a win. Whoa! All right, we just dropped a comment. I'm so sorry, Sean. Uh, just a full comment, so hopefully that's not too much damage done. But sorry about that. All right, let's get to it. Got some more foil comments to get through, and some uncommons. All right, all right. Our foil planes. Oh, the art on these is so nice. Wayward guide beasts are extended art rare. Falcon exploration. Show uh, just a standard frame foil rare. Firelath World Sculptor. I just lost this in Limited literally a couple hours ago. And a foil extender art, Shadow's Verdict. Honestly, if this costs four mana, this would be super good right now in the meta. It's so good at getting rid of Euros and Scoot, Scooty Scoot Scorms and, and uh, well, even like Planeswalkers, it, it gets rid of and it exiles them. So it's, you know, they made, they made it for a very specific reason, but five mana sometimes you just lose. <laughs> Sometimes it's not enough. All right, Hagra Mauling. All right, and Hagra Brood Pit. Look at that. Very cool. And oh, another dual mole faced, uh, double sided land spell land. Seagate Restoration, one of the better ones. Designed for control. And the art is amazingly great. All right, that's our first mythic. A little mythic pile right here. All right, got a Bayloth. There are two showcase commons and uncommons. Hey, Pathway. Borderless Pathways is one of the reasons why these collector packs are actually pretty good. Got both sides, Lava Glide, and of course, the front side, River Glide. Oh, so good. So nice. All right. Canopy Bayloth, and hey, a fetched land, Verdant Catacombs, one of the more valuable ones. All right, that's exciting. Nice little pull. Sean, awesome. Oh, wait, let's. Can we just appreciate that art for just like half a second before we sleeve it and then we have the glare? Oh man, Elena Danner, nice work. Very, very nice work. Oh man. I know you guys could just pause the video, but I gotta I wanna enjoy it too, you know. Shipping these cards out basically the next day. I don't really get a t too much time to just look at the pack and enjoy it. So I appreciate you guys letting me letting me just literally have the privilege of opening these packs and uh, sharing on the YouTubes. Um it has been a, it's been a great week. I've had a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much again. Here we go. Skyclave, Master of Winds. All right, all right. Hey, Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients. Gorgeous card. A mythic action right here. And McKinley Ox followed up by a Inscription of Insight. Sure. On to the next pack. All right. So three packs in. We got one. Foil Expedition, all right. Nimble Trap Finder, Arc Cruise of Iona, okay. Just some rares, Skyclave Shade, just another Showcase Rare, and another Skyclave Shade. All right, all right, that's a little disappointing, a little disappointing. And we go on, we go on. Let's find more other goodies to open and enjoy. There we go. We got an island here. And our Mythic, Mythic Extended Art, Draina, the last blood chief. All right, all right. There is all the split current. Oh, a little zoom up action right here. All right. 
and our common and uncommon showcase cards. Oops, forgot to put bears all in the pile. Get that in the pile. Hey, another pathway. Hey, it matches the playmat. We got a Crag Crown pathway. Uh, this feels like the least popular series of pathways uh, based off that mini poll I did on video number six, which is still active, the little giveaway. Still giving away the same little booster pack. Promise it'll be given away this weekend on sun one of my videos on Sunday. Uh, check it out on Sunday um, to find out if you're the winner so that you, know, you can give me your address and all that details. All right, here we go. And a Timber Crown Pathway on the other side. Sure, sure. All right. Spitfire Lagak and a Cargan Intimidator. All right. Look, I mean, like, I could see this card being played in an aggro deck. It's two mana for 3-1 with, like, a million abilities, right? Um, you can give it plus one, plus one for only one mana. Something can't block this. And then you can give something tramp. Like, it's, it's a pretty decent aggro card, just... I, we need to wait until rotation for it to like find a real home, in my opinion. And um, that rotation is coming soon. So, what is up with this? There, there's this like. Do you see this? I have a little print error in that card. Is it on the other side? No, not really. Okay. All right, we've already processed that token. Here we go of our commons and uncommon foils, our foily boys. <laughs> it's been a while since I said that phrase. No Priest of Oblivion. Oh boy, look at that art. Reminds me of an orc. Here we go. Zerasan. The Trickster. Foil Rare. Eh, cute little Nectar Pot. Pickaxe. Love, by the way, this whiteness. To make it an artifact, I guess. Ah, I want to see that more often. Scoot Swarm. Enough has been said about that card. And yes, I had a good feeling about that one. This is Expedition Foil number two. Do we have a contender, Sean? We're already four out of seven. All right. All right. More than halfway through the challenge. Let's, let's, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Just need three more. Just need three more, Sean. Just need three more. Warwick Pool is not one. Of, I, I don't, I think it's, I, you know, it's blue. It's one of the more valuable ones, but it is not a fetch land. So it is not the most valuable. Yes, Sean. Valicut Awakening. All right. Let's try the other side. Mustafar. All I can think of when I see that card. Lotus Cobra. Gorgeous art as per usual. Look at that. And Prowling Felidar. Okay, all right. Oh, wait, no slow rolling. We straight up see it. Ah, that is a good hit as well. A foil borderless river glide pathway. Yes, sign me up. Sign me up. I, I, I like this type of spice. Look at that art. Oh, man, and it's shiny. It's nice. Oh, don't want to let go, but, uh, you know, these are not mine. These are your, my sponsor's cards. Got to ship it out to you guys. Hopefully you have great homes and, and put them in, in decks and then commander decks and, and, and binders and you enjoy it to, to its fullest. That's what magic's about, guys. That's what magic's about. All right, here we go. Roiling Vortex. Hey, it's a good mythic Forsaken Monument. Just the standard frame. Mythic foil. All right. And we have our showcase cards. Uno dos. Another pathway. Oops. Here's our the back. A grim climb pathway. And hey, okay. Foil. Standard art mythic. That's not too shabby. We did get a uh, normal non foil extended art version of it. But that is super good. Super good. All right. We're gonna put this, put the sucker right there. All right, here we go. Got four more packs. Uh, I would like to see three expeditions in a row. How about that? Three expeditions in a row. All right, can we can we get that? Can we get that? Throne of McKindy. Tadrax. Here we go. Here we go. Got our retreat. Sure. And is there a sign? The trickster. Tricked us. Foil. Extended art rare. All right. Three more packs, three more packs. That's where we're gonna see our three in a row, right? It starts with this one. It all starts somewhere. And that somewhere is now to Drew Paragon, Confounding Conundrum. Here we go, here we go. A Nissa of Shadowed Bows, all right, all right, joins Nahiri. 
We've got two borderless planeswalkers. And okay, that's actually a very, very gorgeous card. A turn timber symbiosis foil extended art mythic dual modal faced land spell. Spell land. Did I, did I say it right? I feel like I probably said it incorrectly, but it's a, it is a lot of things, um, and it is also a few things. God, I'm being so philosophical. It can be a land, right? It's just basically almost a forest that, that deals three damage to you, right? That, that is one thing. Um, or it could be a very, very powerful spell. And both of those things are what people that play Magic need to do. So I think they're all really good. I just think they're all really good. They're my type of cards. All my type of cards assume that my opponent is not playing aggro, basically. Um, <laughs> that's what my cards assume. All right, here we go. Akiri Fearless Voyager. All right. Crag Camp Crown Pathway. So that is a foil pathway. I have to imagine these uh, dual-sided cards were harder to print. Maybe that's why there were so many delays. Despite the fact that, you know, there's just a million things that had to print. Valakut Exploration. And a Linvala Shield of Seagate. Come on now. Can we get at least 5 out of 7? 5 out of 7 gets you a not too shabby for me. 4 out of 7 gets you a, I don't even know, like, alright, alright, I think. Alright, here we go. Island, Inscription of Abundance. Akiri. Needle Verge Pathway. Alright, how many pathways is that in this one? 1, 2, 3. So only 4 pathways. That's, that's actually on the lower side. Take that for what it's worth. Here we go. And we end with a Swarm Shambler. All right. All right, Sean, I mean, <laughs> did get that fetch land, Verdant Catacombs. Let's see, do we get any more fetch lands? There's always a one in three chance. Boom. A Marsh Flats. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I love the art. I love this tuxedo-like effect. It's white and black. I know it is not the most played fetch land. That, that is for sure. But I'm a fan. I'm a fan, okay? Let me, let me be a fanboy of it. And boom! Whoa! This is the most valuable expedition right now. Of course, it's non-foil, but the foil version is just, right now at least, pushing 250. Uh, I have to imagine the price will go down, but still. That is spicy. These are both great expeditions to pull. There's our total count. Four out of seven. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Morphic Pool looks so cool. And all right. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of these cards. Thank you so much, Sean, for sponsoring. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you really, really like the type of content want to see more want to support me. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, please, if you haven't. Um, get notified whenever I do this type of content. And guys, I will see you on the next one.